How do trees communicate? The forest may seem like a place where different solitary trees, rooted in place, unable to reach out or move, aren't connected to each other. However, underneath the soil of the forest lies a hidden 500 million years old network called the Wood Wide Web. This Wood Wide Web is used by trees to wage war on each other, trade resources or even transmit information. In this video we will discover what makes up this network and also explore the so-called secret language of trees. So first of all, what makes up this network? The Wood Wide Web is a network created by fungi that grow in and around trees roots. These fungi are called mycorrhizal fungi and like most fungi, apart from for example yeasts, they have very long white filaments which are called hyphae which together make up the mycelium. So as you can see on this image, mycelium is a bit like the roots of a fungi, it's underneath the soil. And mycelium can also be extremely long. Indeed, one of the largest organisms on earth, called the honey fungus in Oregon in the United States, spreads 3.5 square miles or 9 square kilometers and weighs an estimated 500 tons to 12 million tons. It's this big thanks to all the interconnected mycelium. Another example of a super large organism on earth is Pando in Utah, which spreads over 106 acres and consists of more than 40,000 different trees. Pando is also this big thanks to the Wood Wide Web because fungi and trees have a special connection and can exchange, for example, water or nutrients. For example, mycorrhizal fungi's mycelium can pump up water better than a tree's own root. So mycorrhizal fungi will provide its neighbour tree with water and also other nutrients such as nickel and phosphorus which they obtain by digging holes in very deep rocks. In exchange for water, nickel and phosphorus, a tree will provide its neighbour mycorrhizal fungi with glucose which is produced during photosynthesis. However, this connection between fungi and tree is far more important than first of all. So let's now explore the secret language of trees. Trees also use this network to help each other. For example, hub trees, the oldest and tallest trees in the forest, use this mycorrhizal network to supply their smaller neighbours with nutrients. They also use it to feed shaded plants, which can't go through photosynthesis due to the absence of sunlight, with glucose. Uh, another example, when a tree is sick, it will release all of its resources into the network so they can be used by younger, healthier trees. The Wood Wide Web is also used by plants to send messages to each other. For example, when a tree is being eaten by, for example, an, e an insect, it will release a chemical signal into the Wood Wide Web in order to alert other trees in the forest that a predator is coming. These plants can then start producing bitter compounds to keep these predators away. For example, they can produce caffeine or even quinine. However, this network also has its darker side. For example, the black walnut tree uses this mycorrhizal network to spread chemicals to, keep, to kill their rivals who grow too close to them. And also some orchids in needs of Resources can make use of the Wood Wide Web to steal, for example, water or nutrients from nearby trees. It's the end of the video. I really hope you've enjoyed it and learned loads of new things about the so-called Wood Wide Web. And have a great day.